I'm this kid, okay? A lot of you people don't realize that I'm in showbiz. You think that old Shep is so friendly and homey that he ain't in showbiz. He's just sitting around here shooting the breeze, right? I stumbled across Gene Shepard. It was New Year's Eve, I think, 1964. Well, any good showbiz person is, is, makes great attempts to hide that he is in showbiz, you see. And I just got in a new little transistor radio. So, uh, but I have to con you know, concede, this is all I've ever done all my life. Uh, <laughs> that has, uh, let's say, put, put it this way, been productive. And I'm tuning across the dial on New Year's Eve about 10 o'clock, and here's this guy on the radio telling this bizarre story. <laughs> That's Carl, the singing chicken. It's live at the line. Chef was broadcasting live that night. And he was just had that audience roaring. Hey, this guy is good. Who is this? Telling the rooster over there that you've come to the right hen yard. One of the things you used to do was have like, put your radio on the windowsill, turn up the volume, and then you holler something out, out the window. <laughs> so I did that one night. And of course, I woke up everybody in the house. <laughs> I'm Lou Miano from Astoria, New York, and I just love listening to the stories of Gene Shepard. It shaped my life as it did to all his fans everywhere. You didn't know I had this child, did you? Excelsior, you fatheads! <laughs>